Well, we're here at the Smart Energy Expo 2021 with Scott from Catch Power. And look, I've known Catch Power for a while. So Scott, um, this product's evolved quite a bit from the early days. Certainly has. We're happy to have it in the market and uh, we're getting interest, new interest all the time. So there was the, the blue catch, the green catch, and this one is the... Catch Solar Relay. Catch. So. Catch solar relay. So this is, you know, we've we've really um, conquered hot water, and now we want to uh, broaden our horizons and look at look for all other loads to control and put as much under the, the solar production curve as possible. For those who don't know what a catch is or a catch power device is, can you give a real simple explanation? Yeah. So uh, catch um, green catch is where we started, or blue catch is where we started. So that's hot water diversion. So we're using surplus solar to. Uh, to heat uh, uh, electric hot water, then we uh, show the, and then we've developed the catch solar relay to do all the other loads. So uh, we can trigger a load to come on based on solar production, on uh, voltage, uh, frequency, uh, and time, and a, and a combination of those things if that's what is needed at the site. So looking at this unit here, this is the one that has the power diverter in it, which can proportionally divert surplus solar. Correct. Which is a real feature that you want, which is you don't want just to dump your whole solar onto your hot water system unless you have a massive system and it's sunny. This has got the smarts to know, is there a surplus solar? And can we send it to somewhere useful, like the biggest battery you already own called your hot water tank? Correct, yes, that's right. So all this, even the smallest amounts of solar that are being, that would be exported to the grid, we can put that into the into the tank incrementally, yes. And I realized when I read the spec on this, there's a lot more smarts than it looks. Um, it actually learns how you use energy. That's right, yes. Yeah. So there's an algorithm on board to, to do that balancing act between uh, using, preferring to use your surplus solar, but making sure you don't run out of hot water if the weather isn't there to, 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 to divert the surplus solar. Yeah, so you've got the best of both worlds. You've got a hot shower and you've got the cheapest hot shower. Correct. <laughs> so um, this unit here, this is the, the switch. Correct, yeah, programmable relay. Programmable relay. What sort of uh, current ratings would you get on this? So the, the device doesn't really have a current rating, it's four amps, but that's not really to do a load. You always marry it with a contactor of the size of load that you're trying to drive. Right, you know, that's a perfect solution. So you can, you can this has got comms going to it, or um, metering? Correct, so the, the interface for programming it is Bluetooth. Yep. Uh, so you program it through a Bluetooth uh, smartphone app, uh, and we all have also have an R uh, RS-485 uh, connectivity. Right, and that's connecting to what, power conditioning equipment or inverters or? To the inverter. So, to the inverter? Yes, so the device uh, has the dual function of being low control, but for a range of uh, invert different inverter brands, we can also perform the role of inverter control. So it will be the energy meter. Oh, that sounds really good. I, I'm, I run a small microgrid and it's all about managing surplus generation because I can't send it to any other one's grid, I've only got the one, yes. so I've got to think of ways of using it or losing it all the time. So this sounds like a great solution, both on-grid and off-grid. Can be off-grid. Um, some guys have used it already, some of the guys in the industry have used it already to trigger on frequency. There are inverters out there that use frequency signal to control the, uh, the delivery of power, and so they use that same signal to turn their hot water on. Well, that's me. So I use frequency to control my microgrid, and this electronic system that runs my uh, microgrid uses a frequency shift to indicate the surplus generation. So this would then respond to that and turn something on. Correct. That's perfect. Cool. Well, thanks very much, Scott. Thanks for the opportunity, Glenn. It's okay. been a great show. No worries.